guys welcome to my youtube video channel please subscribe to my channel on my video i'm going to show you guys how to make a torch light with carton As, can you see this torch light we have now made this now it's just time to fix the electric port but i'm going to explain to you how i got to this point this is the top of the carton how we made this was that we take our compass made a round shape then we use it to make a circle after making the circle you punch a hole at the center of the circle here after punching the hole then you put your epoxy gum let me show you the gum they call epoxy epoxy gum it is very thick and fast in gluing cotton this as you're looking at it is 200 naira Get your piece now. Now you can see. Now see how I made this place. And also, look at this. It's also made at that same ball. You make you cut the carton, make you to the type of rectangular shape you want. After cutting it, then you are going to round it like a circle. Then put it in. Put a land shapes carton inside to hold it from getting separated. You can see it, it is from here to here. The carton extends. Now you can see that the tips now look natural. After that, we are going to hang it here. Now see it is now fixed to the punch hole. Oh, now I'm going to teach you how to connect the switch and all the electrons needed for it to start working yeah. stay tuned don't skip any part all part is useful guys to remind you the part you cut from the inner point of the torch light here don't throw it away that is what we are going to use now to make the light stand let me get the light now this is what is needed for the construction of the light bulb for it to be working this is the 9 volt battery it is what i want battery it has 9 voltage as you can see yeah i don't think you guys can see it 9 volt battery can you see it why this is a switch this is a light we are, so I'm going to use two lights for the construction and these are wires now you can see I've connected the two circuits together in my next video I'll just show you what they call cathode and anode you can see in the bulb there is big there's a big point and a small point this is big point this is the small point the big point which has an iron will be connected to the smaller Point which is at the other end of the bulb. I, I I don't think you guys will be able to see it well. Connect the cathode to the anode. After that, stay tuned. The next thing to do now is to connect two wires to the antennas of the switch, which I have done. Now we are going to connect it to the light bulb. It's you connect it through here the wires of the switch you connect it through here see i've done that to the switch which the wire is now coming out here now i'm going to connect it to the up which is now you can see i've connected the switch to the light bulb which the switch is at inner part before now it's connected to the lights bulb as in this the part we have now I've connected one of the air see because the size cannot contain two light bulbs so I come here one here with the apple sticky gum and one is here no now we are going to put it inside here now you can see that i've done i'm done connecting with connecting the lights to the top just let for us to connect it to the top. But now the posty gum will wait for it to dry. Stay tuned.
please subscribe i'm almost done with my video so please subscribe okay now you can see that the gum is already placed yeah you can yes yeah, hope you can see the gum it's already placed around it don't let for me to pull this is like for if you want the gum to gum better things to do is that once you put the gum on the part which you want to gum you wait a little bit then gum it it is now done because the wire is kind of short i gummed i attached some wire to it as you can see the amount of attachment good now let's test it before we continue don't forget to subscribe now what the change is made in it is that you can see the wire coming down has been wrapped with carton so it won't be visible so our touch lights will look not proper but this side will also be covered if you wish to cover it can cover it because this will help to know if there's any danger or any hotness so no need of covering it in our touch light now the next step is to connect the 9 volt battery to the top of the touch lights here yeah, i'm putting it inside the carton you can now see it is connected inside the carton now time to test that okay now i've already connected one wire time to use this gum detin to it accurate now you can see the wire has been connected time to test uh touch light now let's test it let's on the switch you can see the touch light is really on in the wires disconnected that problem has been fixed with a little curtain attached to it now our touch light is working you can see i'm on offering the switch on in the switch open the switch you see the wire has come off of this mount let's fix that okay guys we are now done with the lights holding and the ordering hanging stuff now you can see our touch light is now very presentable now see say so one thing can line us watch as it turn up of on up, oops. This is control switch watch. My on it always. Please subscribe for my YouTube video channel. I really appreciate it because I don't have any subscriber, so I'm waiting for the first person to subscribe. Please subscribe. Bye. We go win, you go know All of the blessings fall on my heart